Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. Steve Bozza here, and today's video is about this, your wedge, and how you can prolong the life of it. You know, we have this love affair with our equipment when we first get it. It's doing everything you want. The advert said it was spin, and it is spinning. You're having the time of your life. And then after a few months, it starts to de deteriorate to the point, the love affair, it's over. I want you to be in this state of love for longer. How are we going to do that? So a lot of the time, especially when it comes to wedges, we blame the bunker. And we say, well, playing shots in the bunker really does kind of ruin the grooves and it stops the ball doing what we want it to do. Uh, the bunker, yeah, it's going to start wearing. You're going to see, I would see, see wear. But in terms of performance, the thing that really does completely alter how it can perform is hitting shots with mud and more importantly hitting shots with mud that are already in the grooves. You need to think of the grooves as like a, the tread on a tire. So you know when you're driving your car in the wet, the whole point of the tread is to get the water away from the surface that's going to actually create friction against the road, get it in and out so it, it's trying to disperse water. Think of the grooves as doing the same thing, they're trying to get rid of dirt, water, grass, everything, trying to get it away so you get better friction with the face. If you hit shots and hit loads of shots when the grooves are full of mud, think about the pressure that the contact does and it pushes more grit, pushes more or anything into the groove, but as it can't get into the groove and disperse, that compacted mud pushes against the sides of the grooves and really starts wearing the grooves out. So if you're somebody that practices a lot, think about how often you clean your clubs when you're practicing. You know, I know I, I can be bad for it, especially like with my irons. You know, you're hitting six irons. Because you don't really worry about, well, if they're full of mud, just, the balls are going to spin incorrectly, but I'm working on my swing so it doesn't matter. You know, it's actually wearing down your equipment. So when you're practicing, really try and make sure you keep cleaning them. On the golf course you should be cleaning them anyway. Even if you're that person that's keeping on lucky mud that was been on there for three years because you hit the greatest shot of your life and you want that memory, maybe dig the mud off and frame it. But don't leave it on your face because every time you hit shots it's wearing out your equipment. So I hope this video has helped. Get some comments down below. Are you the person that hits shot after shot after shot with a club that's completely full of mud. And you do it in competitions as well. Shame on you, sir. Get a groove cleaner. Your grooves are gonna thank you. Your performance is gonna thank you. Everybody's gonna be happy. I hope to catch you soon.